got him music. Sometimes I wish I were a singer. Go right into it. Good evening, everyone. Anyone here from New York? Oh. Hold on. I, I'm a sort of pro-New Yorker. You know, I've lived here all my life, pretty much, except for a few uh, years away at schools and stuff. And I like people that, that hold on, that fight the horrors of the city. I'm not saying it's a picnic out there. Lord knows it's no picnic. But I like people that hang on. You ever see a guy fishing at 125th Street in the Hudson River? <laughs> That is patience. I mean, supposing he did catch something. Do you have any idea what kind of bullock monster fish that's gotta be? <laughs> to have survived that for 20 years, that fish will come out of the water, boom, get that damn hook out of my mouth, you idiot. <laughs> Think that tickles? 20 years dodging tugboats, I'm gonna fall for that hook, you rube. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise season, the ocean line has to dodge tough animals. Like pigeons in New York, they sit on 58th Street there waiting for your car to hit them. <laughs> That's not a Vermont swallow. It's a dirty New York filthy pigeon. Come on, baby, hit me. You know, like a <laughs> <laughs> Last minute, <laughs> you know, they, they always play chicken with you, a pigeon, however they, you know. One of these days I know I'm gonna be hit with a suicidal pigeon. He's just gonna sit there. Oh, to hit me with this filth on my wings. I had it, go ahead. It's unnatural, I'm a bird, man. We hang around the city. You know, I don't know. If I had their facilities, there could be a pigeon in Paris. Fly. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> pigeon in anywhere. Germany, cuckoo, cuckoo. And pigeon anywhere. You can cuckoo all through all the United Nations. Virtually, I could cuckoo. You know, you'd stop at two cuckoos, because that's... <laughs> now, this a major problem in New York, the one I find most objectionable at the moment, is that not only have we had a population explosion of people, of course, but a commensurate population explosion of dogs. And I like them. There's a snake up there, I think. It's a cobra. <laughs> I love dogs, but come on, let's care. It was 1912. It was cute when a dog did a Lulu in Riverside Park. And a man turned to his wife and says, good for the soil, Martha, and they walked away. <laughs> it's, it's 1972 now, and it is the soil. <laughs> of level ground is an exception in Riverside Park. You have to walk across Riverside Park like it was a minefield. Watch out! Be careful, right here. That's the Riverside Drive shuffle, perhaps you've seen it. A little dance, it's uh, this way, you know. Oh, terrible, which of us hasn't done the old scrapes? Be right with you, honey. Son of <laughs> Think some Jack Carter, this drummer. Wait a minute. This drummer is the leader. Uh, no, it's a terrible, uh, forget it. It's a ridiculous thing, and uh, looking for a curb, always a sharp edge there. Terrible, blunted with steel. It's the great equalizer. It makes everyone look like an idiot, though. A real dude with an El Dorado with a stick. Be right with you, darling. Just a minute. <laughs> you just can't be cool any way you look at it. With you. And also, people use dogs for things that were never intended. You know, like uh, child substitutes and all kinds of human highballs, you know, <laughs> pissing and... I had to compete with the Great Dane many times, and this ridiculous. I had tropical fish. That's a proper New York pet, I think. It doesn't bother anyone. It gets boring, you know. After two months, you, you hit the tank once a week. Bam, bam. Where's the angel fish? Bam, bam. Where's the cat? Bam, bam. Where's that cat fish? Bam, 49 cents. And you don't know what you're getting, you know. Diseased fish, you add it to your tank there. The next morning, all of them, top of the tank. You know. <laughs> I used to play taps in the toilet when I was a kid. <laughs> it's kind of a spiritual thing. I wanted to be Brandon DeWilde at a certain age, you know. And I didn't have a dog that cried, cried, you know. You had to cry for the fish. Except you can't personalize them. You can't cuddle them, they'll die. You know, also, uh, the live bearers eat their own young, which I find a very unusual evolutionary concept. I mean, the black mollies, the, uh, the guppies eat their own young. That's insane, you know. It's a girl, Martha. <laughs> Good, too, I'm gonna have a boy next time. <laughs> you know, they don't get the picture, those fish, do they? That's not supposed, you're not supposed to, you know. But I had it all set up. I had a diver with bubbles, you know, in the tank, and I had a painted backdrop, and I wanted everything like their natural habitat. Because they were used to divers all through their childhood in Woolworth. The divers used to come down there. <laughs> you know, 
the diver. There's a diver again. By me, you know, terrible. <laughs> terrible. I couldn't afford the heater, though. I put a, used a very bad substitute. One of those coils you heat up a cup of coffee in a hotel room. <laughs> Boiled the water. It was pathetic to see me. <laughs> terrible. I had a cat for a while. I took care of someone else. I love them. They're very feline, if you know what I mean. But, I don't know, they sound like they're complaining, even when they're not. You know? Hey, come here, you know, come here. <laughs> bam, 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 no tank, just bam, bam. And also, I know, I must have disliked them. I must have felt some hostility towards a cat because I used to buy cat food irregularly. Like two cans now, for you to stop eating Wednesday for some reason. You know. I probably didn't like it. Also, I felt sorry for it. It has a little brain, luckily. Because people leave a cat forever in a house. Ah, oh, it doesn't mind for the weekend. Or, you know, how does it plan its day, the poor thing? I wonder, you know, I wonder how it plans its day. <sighs> I think I'll go up in the windowsill for a half hour. A kind of... <laughs> I think I'll lick my arm. Very, very primitive thought. And when they see out the window, they don't see, hey, a boy, you know? They don't see a bird. They see very primitive concepts, you know, dark, medium, blue blur. <laughs> Red blur, you know, they, 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 they're very... The one thing I dislike most of all, though, <laughs> is that, I don't know, there's certain things that... I don't like cockroaches, particularly. <laughs> they are animals, and if we have to kill them, at least, you know, I really hate the... There's a long word for this that I just learned last week. Anthropomorphize, I think that's the word. That is, giving human traits to animals, you know, like, say, that elephant is bored. You know what I mean? Well, I don't like when these insecticide commercials, they personalize the roaches. These cockroaches, they make them cute animated figures and then they kill them, you know? I don't want to see these cute cockroaches doing the bebop in my kitchen. <laughs> cute ones with dresses, and then suddenly this unsympathetic can comes in, and they animate graves and little things. I think that's terrible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Have a seat.